Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Wednesday, April 20th. Currently, I don't know what it is actually, because my. Hmm, that's weird. 39 degrees. Um, <clears throat> going up to 50, I think it's going up to like 58, 59. It's weird, my watch ain't working for some reason. Uh, I think I know why. Turn the Bluetooth off, I think. Because <clears throat> my uh, AirPods <clears throat> kept trying to get auto connect, disconnect from my. Uh, my MacBook and I think obviously it's a Bluetooth connection for the watch. <laughs> so anyway, uh, today I'm smoking my Ecclesius Sandblast Rusticated, whatever you want to call it, billiard. In it today, I'm smoking some Salty Dogs, which is as far as I know, the only like straight up Virginia Perique in a plug. Um, one that's not like a navy like a navy flake kind of plug comes in a comes in a pouch it's made by Dan Tobacco um, it's available in the United States however I want to say over here it's like 17 bucks for a pouch and uh, if you get it from, from Esther Rolls or Germany, it's like eight bucks, nine bucks maybe. So I had, uh, when we made that Esther Rolls order, I had stocked up and, and got, I think, six or seven of them. It's a really good blend. It's, it's a little sweeter than a Scudo. If you're trying to compare it to something, it's not nearly as sweet as like Louisiana Broken or uh, like Solani, which I think I'm gonna smoke tomorrow. I haven't smoked any in a while. Cuts pretty pretty easily. Uh, rubs out very well. <clears throat> uh, it's not it's not the softest plug, but it's not the hardest plug. It's not like a Peterson's three P's. You need like a diamond tip knife to cut. Like lose a finger trying to cut that. It's one of the main reasons why I got that cutting board set up because. It just makes it makes cutting plugs a hell of a lot easier, especially with the uh, with the setup. You can kind of just put your weight on it and it just use the your weight to cut it instead of having to try to use a knife. And it's one of the reasons why I I never really cared for plugs. I didn't smoke them a whole lot because I didn't feel like dealing with them and cutting them and just a hassle. It's really
really good. It is on like the like the sweet spectrum of Perique, but not uh, it's not like spicy, but it's not like a super sweet. It's uh, like I said, more sweeter than uh, than a Scudo, but not as sweet as some others. So. Some people would claim that it's really strong, uh, like nicotine content, but I never got that. I never get that from any blunt, though, so don't take my word on that. Um, so if you guys, if any of you guys are cigar smokers, um, one of the, especially if you're looking for, for a, a great value, the, uh, the Bravada Cigar Club, um, they have a, like a monthly subscription, which I think is like 26 bucks. You get anywhere from like, I think three to five cigars a month. They're aged, they're like, you know, rare cigars, not like your normal, you know, throw five cigars, production cigars in a bag and, and ship them. Um, they're, they're, you know, uh, Brian, who's the, the owner, um, curates these cigars. He has warehouses filled with these cigars that are like, that have tons, you know, years and years of age on them. Um, and, uh, every month they, they have their main subscription. Then the other, the, the greatest value that you get, and it kind of, they all come in these like Boveda, Bravada bags. Already, you know, you can keep them in here forever. They're humidified. They're really nice bags. Um, comes with a Boveda pack in it, <clears throat> made by Boveda for Bravada. But they have a, a program called, you see the bottom, it's called Farm Rolled. And they're, they're unbanded. You don't know what factory made them like each when you get them I'll show you what they look like um, they uh, so there's like different batolas they're just unbanded you know different wrappers different sizes and there's a sheet that comes with them that tells you like the size the growing region I think um Stuff like that and yeah the whole thing behind it is like you know you can smoke them and not have to you know not know where they came from no preconceived notion so tons of four of them they're all different different batolas different sizes different wrappers um, some are closed foot some are open foot the box press, but yeah, there's, um, I guess that comes a little bit of the back, and, uh, 20 bucks, you can't beat it, you know, it's what, this one's five bucks a stick, um, and then they have another one called Brian's Box, which is like, they are normal production cigars. Some of them might be harder to get, some of them might not be. It's just, you know, Brian's pick of uh, cigars that he likes. <clears throat> um, so I think if you get like all three of them, you can spend like, probably like 75, 80 bucks for, a, you know, but you're getting anywhere between uh, 15, 12 to 16, 15, 16 cigars, um, which if you break it down, it's still, still a great price. Um, and all the ones in, in the Pravada, in the Pravada club are, or bag are, all um, 
you know, he has cigars that are made specifically for him. Um, so they're all rare, you know, and then they have a subsidiary of that is the LCA, uh, Luxury Cigar Association, and they put out like a, a cigar every month, and then they also put out this like cigar one. This is one of their ones, already again, free, free humidified pack. Pretty cool. Something to look into if you haven't heard about them. They put out some good stuff for sure. And then there's a whole, like, you can go on to their website and you can buy all kinds of different, like, individual cigars and whatnot, so. Excuse me. Anyway. That's that. Um, so, yeah, Salty Dogs, if you haven't, if you haven't tried it and you like Virginia Breaks, give it a shot. Um, if you like Plugs give it a shot it's pretty good uh, sometimes it can be hard to find but it's usually available it can just be a little pricey if you get it from like smoking pipes or you know one of those online retailers <clears throat> but anyway guys that's all I really got for you today I hope everybody's having a great day a good week um if you're into that thing, happy 420. Not really my thing. It hasn't been in a long time. I know some people back... Some people really get into it. I remember back when we were in, like, our early 20s. Uh, we had, like, the Weed Olympics. <laughs> that was so stupid. We had all these different, like, events. <clears throat> um, we had, like, shirts made and stuff. And, you know, we had, like gravity bond competition, like, uh, a, uh, edible competition, like, all this, like, crazy stuff, blunt rolling competition, uh, some of the stuff we did when we were kids, we would look back on and laugh now, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, if you're into that thing, happy holidays to you. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're having a great week. I'll see you tomorrow on the New Age Pipe Smokers page. And remember, as always, the left lane is for passing. See you.